In the past few months, I've been to India, China, and Thailand to find the best home decor the world has to offer for my showroom here in the south end of Boston. Today, I'll take you with me to Rajasthan, India. Perhaps the most quintessential India style item is the traditional block printed cotton fabric from Jaipur. The process to create these fabrics is as fascinating as the textiles themselves. First, the white fabric is dyed by hand and then hung out to dry. Hand carved wooden blocks are then used to imprint the design on the fabric. Everywhere I go, I see an old world approach to the production of crafts. Rugs are dried in the sun on the roof of the buildings where they are trimmed and washed. The final washing is done exactly as it has been done for centuries with wooden spades and lots of hand labor. Amit, uh, tell me what we're looking at here for, for carpets. This is a pure silk hand knotted rug made out of uh, recycled silk. We take the roughage of the saris and pull out each and every thread and hand spin it to form a yarn. All types of greens are put in together, that's why you don't get a solid green. Because of saris coming from different batches, different lots and different colors of greens which are blended together. The street scene is an all-out assault on the senses. The sounds, smells and visual overload can thrill and sometimes overwhelm the uninitiated. This is the Wind Palace, which is a very important monument of Jaipur. No trip to Jaipur is complete without a visit to my friend Ram Babu, who is the owner of Silver Mountain. Rajasthan is the capital of jewelry production in northern India. Semi-precious stones from nearly every country in the world are sent there to be made into beads. These beads are then hand-strung by skilled hands at the direction of designers from India and many Western countries. These textiles are made from old sari and hand-stitched into beautiful quilts by artisans who clearly have an eye for composition and balance. Tell me a little about how the <coughs> bandhani is made. This is one of the oldest uh, techniques in India. Every individual imprint is made by hand, by women working in villages. And the, the length of time that it would take to make something like this? Something like ta this takes about a man's year time. One man One year. year, yeah. It seems impossible that India has resisted the mechanization that I now see in China and other parts of the world, but it's refreshing to see these traditions endure. Yeah,